You know, it's interesting seeing all these videos of black females complaining that black men are not marrying black women. And they're always comparing themselves with white women, saying that white women are getting married, but yet black women aren't getting married. Well, there's a reason behind that. Now, someone posted a meme on Instagram. I'm going to read that meme to you. And I responded to that meme. It's a difference between somebody who wants you and somebody who stays in the way so no one else can have you. Now, the reason I find that interesting is because I recall when men were sticking around. They felt that if they stuck around and really showed that they was really interested in the woman, that eventually the woman would take notice to them um, and get to know them. But instead, Black females started referring to them as thirsty. These dudes were considered creepy and they were creeping the women out. Black women, that is. Creepy and thirsty. So black men got to the point where they just backed up because I'm going to tell you something. Men have so many options out there. We have much more many more options now with all this immigration you have women that's immigrated to this country that's taken notice to the so-called black men in spite of how much negativity you put out there and in spite of how much you say that black men are making or creating single parent mothers black men are still a prize now, I know you, some of you females out there believe that, that women are the prize, but the Bible clearly states that women were made for the benefit of man, not man for the benefit of woman. She was made as a helper to him. But instead, a lot of y'all are being a headache to your man. And you really think a man is going to stick around, especially now that you guys are displaying your naked body. Do you really think a man would want you to settle down with you, to wife you? Do you really think that man wants you while you're displaying your naked body on the internet, right? So I find it quite interesting because even myself at 60 years old, about to be 61 in December. I still have women, non-black women, as you guys call them. I have non-black women still trying to kick it to the brother. And these aren't old women. I say the youngest is maybe in their late, middle to late 20s, and they're still trying to kick it to the brother. Now, some of them may think that um, some, some of them may want a sugar daddy. I'm not a sugar daddy and I don't submit to some, to, to sugar daddy rules. I just don't do that, you know, but the point is the matter. Men have more options. Brothers have more options than you think. And you really think that some do want to wife you because you display your naked body on the internet instead of paying attention to yourself and make changes to make a man want you. If you really want black men to show interest in you, if you really want black men to want you, maybe you need to start making changes so that he will take interest in you instead of other women. Instead of other races or nationality of women, Maybe you need to make the changes that's necessary. Instead of pointing fingers and blaming him for not marrying you because you refuse to change, because you're too aggressive, because you're too manly, 
because you're too violent, hostile, emotional, bad attitude. Do you really think a man want that? Now, for some of you so-called black females, if you're able to, to change for a white man, for a non-black man, why can't you do that for brothers? You just expect brothers are going to put up with your mess, right? So maybe you need to make the change. But instead, you point fingers at black men, you promote white men, you always put white men above black men. So again, we take a step back. You know, let the white men have you. You can have the white men. Go ahead. We have at it. Help yourself. You know, we really go ahead. Do what you got to do. Why would you stay and continue to make videos? Pointing fingers at black men for not showing interest in you when you refuse to make the changes necessary for you or for a man to take interest, a so-called black man to take interest in you. See, so this is an environment that you guys created for yourself. You created this. You chase your men or so-called men away from you. You did that. See, it's not the fault of the man. I'm not going to say that there's no dogs out there. There's a lot of doggish brothers out there, man. There's dudes that don't take care of their families. You know, there's dudes out there that make babies that won't support or take care of the babies, but you are fully aware of them. And like I mentioned in the past video, it's like you guys don't talk no more. It's like you meet somebody and you're in the bed. You don't take the time out to talk to that brother. Brothers, you don't take the time to talk to that sister to find out what's really going on in their lives, to find out what they're really about. I remember the time when, when black men and black women stopped talking. They meet each other, and instead of the woman talking to the man, trying to find out about the man, she started asking her friends. She started going to the internet doing background checks on the brother. You know what I mean? Do you really think a man want a woman that, you know, start out not trusting him? And then you lump all brothers in the same category. And that's not true. And you wonder why you lose out. You wonder why these brothers don't show interest in you and look for women outside of his race. Well, maybe it's you that need to change to need to change yourself, to take that weave and wig out your ear. Brother's been complaining about that. There's some dudes that may accept it. There's some dudes that may like it. But are these dudes that's willing to stick with you? Are these dudes that's willing to, to wife you, to wife you up, as you guys say, right? So that's the reason why you guys cannot find a husband. This is why brothers don't want you. Maybe you need to make that change. Till next time. I'm fearless.